My name is uh, Sam Sandoval. I'm a faculty and an extension specialist at the University of California, Davis. And today we're going to be talking about science communication 101. So the basics of science communication. In terms of storytelling, and a very succinct storytelling is this, uh, what is called in the science com, in the science communication jargon, ABT. And ABT, it, is, it stands for and, but, and therefore. So basically you start with a hook statement, then you provide and further statement, but you introduce the gap. Therefore, this is what I'm doing. So basically that's, that's, that's very standard. This is super good for introducing, have a 60 second uh, short uh, description of things that you're doing. Um, super good in this case for uh, talking to some um, people in the media and also to start a, a presentation. Let's, let's just provide a, a quick uh, example here. Um, droughts in the Rio Grande, are very long. It can be from 10 to 15 years. And um, there are also periods of floods that will also impact as bad as the droughts, the um, uh, water users in the Rio Grande. But um, there is no characterization of droughts and floods in the Rio Grande. Therefore, uh, we are characterizing droughts in terms of severity, duration, as well as um, floods, in terms of frequency and magnitude in the Rio Grande. So uh, stakeholders in the basin are aware of how to cope with droughts and floods in the Rio Grande. That will be a, a 60 second description of a project that we actually have with the USGS. We are characterizing floods and droughts in the basin. So that will be a good way to, to introduce this to a larger audience in a very succinct uh, way. A lightning talk. This is also called a pop-up talk. And basically these are kind of 30 second, uh, excuse me, three minutes presentations. Uh, to me, this kind of an extended ABT. Basically you will start the same with a hook statement. Then what is the knowledge, another statement, the knowledge gap, and in the therefore, as you're introducing what are you doing, you can also estimate what are, or you can also present what are the methods and some preliminary results and what it is this, this is important for, for, for the audience that you are communicating this. This is another way of, of doing uh, this type of communications. It is an extended ABT. 